Hi there, it's Nicole from Mama Elephant and today I have a card showcasing embossed vellum overlay greeting. This is a simple, huge greeting using the new Hello Friend Wishes stamp set and I've stamped it on vellum and overlaid it on a background that I custom stamped with the new Mama Elephant brushed florals stamp set. I'm going to start by stamping this rectangle of smooth white cardstock using some of the brushed florals inks and I'm using some shades of green and purple inks and I'm simply going to start in one corner and work my way out and up until the entire thing is covered. Now I am using some Hero Arts ombre ink for the green. That's going to give me some really awesome variation in color for the greenery. Then I'm using a couple shades of Simon Says Stamp purple inks and hydrangea and thistle. And again, that's just going to give me a little variation in the purples that I'm using. I didn't want to add too many additional colors. I wanted to keep this kind of soft and pretty. It's a great way to build a pretty floral background. This is a beautiful stamp set. I love these brushed florals. I'll have some additional cards with those throughout the, the uh, release this week. Again, just building this out. There's lots of different um, leaf designs, so I'm incorporating those as well. And you want to make sure you fill in the design. So as I get near the end, you're going to see that I'm going to take like little tips of leaves and fill in anywhere along the edge that looks like it might need a little something. I will be die cutting a frame with the new Mama Elephant framed Tags Park Avenue dies or Creative Cuts dies. And so some of that stuff along the edge, I probably wouldn't have had to have stamped, but I always like to kind of just build it from the base up. If you were not framing this piece, you definitely would want to make sure every little nook and cranny was covered so that instead of the images looking like they're just kind of floating in outer space, by stamping them off the edges of the design, it really helps ground everything. Even though this is kind of more whimsical, this isn't, you know, actually stamping a flower garden since they're kind of going this way and that. You're just simply building a beautiful floral background. Fill in just a few more spaces here and finish up the design. You could stamp these in any colors you wanted to. You could use some of the other floral designs from the brushed florals or other floral stamp sets you might have. I think maybe even stamping a plaid background or a checkered background, um, different kinds of shapes back behind this. You could do all kinds of different designs back behind this big bold greeting that I'm going to stamp here in just a second. Here's where I'm filling in just along the edges. I have that one little area right there that I need to kind of fill in, add some little tips of greenery. Do that up in the top left corner as well. I'm going to take another piece of white cardstock now and use that Park Avenue frame run that back and forth a couple times. It's gonna not only die cut the A2 shaped frame, which is gonna fit a standard A2 sized card, but it's gonna add the stitching detail and that beautiful scallop around the inside. I also have a piece of vellum that I've already trimmed to fit behind here. And I'm gonna use the large hello friend greeting from the Hello Friend Wishes stamp set, as well as a smaller little additional phrase as well. I'm using a powder tool over the vellum and then I'm inking up my greeting with Versamark ink and stamping that right in the center of the vellum and then heat embossing this beautiful large scripty greeting with some gold embossing powder. Go ahead and grab my embossing powder real quick so you can see that greeting. And it's just a really beautiful, big, bold greeting. So, so pretty. I'll go ahead and grab my heat tool and heat set that. 
I love the magic of watching the embossing powder melt so you're left with this gorgeous embossed greeting. I'm going to keep moving my heat tool so I don't scorch the paper and try not to add have it warp too much. Sometimes vellum is a little tricky. If you heat up your heat tool really well before you take it to your paper, that does help a little bit. I'm going to use the powder tool along that bottom edge of the frame because I'm going to grab one of those additional greetings that says, I miss you, that is all, and stamp that right there along the edge. I think that these little small greetings work so perfectly along there, along that stitching detail that the die kind of creates when you die cut it. I just love that. Again, I'm going to heat set that. And now I'm simply ready to put it all together. This is our really, really easy, simple design. I'm going to hide some adhesive now behind the embossed greeting on the back side, adding little dots of glue. I'll place that right over my stamped floral background. I am adding some adhesive along the edge. I kind of got off of the edge, so I picked it off just a tiny bit. Because all of this is going to be covered up with that frame, That'll hold down the edges and then the adhesive behind the letters will hold down the center part. I'm going to put adhesive on the back of my frame itself and then pop that right over my background. Line it, get it all lined up perfectly. I'll attach this entire thing to a side fold card base. And then I'm going to finish my card design with a scattering of pretty pink posh sequins. And I chose sequins purposely in the same shades as the card. So I'm going to be using sequins in shades of um, some a little bit of purple. And then I love sparkling clear. Sparkling clear goes with everything. And that'll kind of finish off this whole card design. Those little pops of purple iridescent sequins and then some pretty sparkling clear ones. Not going to add a ton of those, just a few here and there. I'm using some Zots Bling Glue Dots to attach all of these. Have some of them even go up onto the frame of the design. The vellum serves to kind of mute the colors there, much like you would if you were muting the background of a pattern paper or something like that. But this time you're simply muting your own pattern paper you created with stamps. Thanks for watching this video showcasing the new Mama Elephant Hello Friend Wishes greeting stamp set. The supplies I've used are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more Mama Elephant videos you might be interested in. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.